What is up guys, it's Brindy Meister here and welcome to today's video. If you do enjoy the video then don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe and hit all the links up down below to Twitch and Discord. Enjoy the video. What is up guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be loot from 400 solo necks. Uh, so some of you may have seen my next week, which I have done fairly recently. Uh, this is most of the loot from that, and I've had to do a few more kills on top of it to round it up to the 400 to get it to a nice even number for this video. Uh, so I really hope you guys look forward to seeing the total loot. I was very, very excited to price check this. I knew it was going to be a fairly sizable amount. Um, so yeah, I was really, really looking forward to doing this one. If you do enjoy the video as well, don't forget to drop a like, and uh, let's get into the loot. So uh, I've gone out of my inventory all of the loot that I uh, got for the week. But first, we'll have a quick look at my gear. This is the gear that I use for the week. Um, I don't have the inventory, obviously, because i got all my loot in there. Uh, so yeah, fleeting boots, nightmare gauntlets. i got uh, elite ceramic top and bottoms, just normal ceramic helm because I'm a cheapskate. Uh, Armadale Book of Law. I used the uh, Scrimshaw of Cruelty a little bit, but um, I decided the Book of Law felt better, so I went with that. I used a combination of Onyx and Ruby but Criminal Bolts. I tried Hydrix one of the days, and they were very nice, but they were also incredibly expensive, uh, so I didn't use them. And then obviously I used the Elder Crossbow, uh, Caramon 4 for uh, Greater Friction. I should probably get Caramon 4 uh, Equilibrium 2 at some point, uh, but I'll do that in the future. And I'll just count my Ring of Death because I've got the uh, Luck of the Dwarves on the Relic in um, the Archaeology Guild. Right, so uh, we'll look into the uh, inventory now for the actual sort of loot I got. And we got a lot. We got uh, we got ourselves two Torva Plates, three Virtus Masks, uh, uh, three Virtus Top, sorry, one Virtus Mask, Virtus Book, Pernix Boots, two Virtus Gloves, two Torva Helms. One Torva Gloves, one Virtus Boots, and two Torva Plate Legs. So what I would say is, even though over the course of it, I don't think we've averaged out as getting lucky with amount of total drops, I'd say we've been relatively lucky with how much Torva we've got compared to everything else. Like we don't have many of the junky ones, like we've only got what? One, two, three, four, five of the five of the drops are like the really like five mil ones. All the rest of them are pretty decent. Especially these plates. When I got one of them, one of them was 142 mil and the other one was like 130. They have been crashing, so they're like 129 mil now. Same with all the bits of Torva. I'm not sure if it's the same with everything. So this, this has lost a little bit of value since I started uh, started killing necks uh, about just over a week ago now. Um, so anyway, we're going to get the price checker and we're going to chuck it in here. Because I'm expecting this to be um, pretty substantial in its value um, from the whole week here. Uh, so we're going to chuck it all in. And uh, yeah, 901 mil. So I made nearly a bill there from that. Um, from 400 next skills. Um, so we're going to go to the breakdown slide soon and we're going to work out a bit more GP prior, GP per kill and everything. But like I said, the big winners here, like a quarter of that or a bit over a quarter of that, comes from the Torva plates, two of them at 129 mil. Like I said, they were a bit more when I got them, so uh, I have lost a little bit of value out of here, which kind of sucks. I could have got a bit more if I'd sold them when I got them. But it's fine, I've still made, you know, an absolute ton of money here. 100 mil on the Virtus tops, that is really good as well. Um, yeah, 34 mil each, they're pretty decent, they're a nice drop, they're a solid drop, they're not the most valuable one, but they're pretty decent. Uh, Virtus books, 6 mil, and then we've got a few, you know, the 5 mil ones, a couple of them there for 5 mil makes 11 mil. Uh, the two Torva Helms, that's a really good one, like, look at the difference in value between a Virtus mask and a Torva Helm, like, two of them, 105 mil, two of them, 27 mil, it's so good. And, uh, then obviously we've got the Torva Plate Legs over there as well for 155 mil for the two. Uh, so then we go to the standard loot, and you know it's obviously going to be the Onyx bolts that are at the top there, and we've got 82 mil in 400 kills in Onyx bolts, which is pretty crazy. That is a lot of money in Onyx bolts there, and I was also surprised by the amount I got in bruise. Look at that, 53 mil of bruise. Uh, it's obviously paired with the restores, but I got a lot more bruise than restores overall. But there was a couple of days in the week where I, I got quite a lot of restores compared to bruise. Um, but obviously over the time it's averaged out, and look at that, 53 mil is a huge amount of money in bruise, which is um, yeah, that's massive. Uh, then we've got our herb drops, we've got our Grime Dwarf, we've got 1,000 of them, so that's like 15 mil, they're like 15k each now, which is pretty good going. Um, I recently uploaded a merch of them that I'd bought just after Double XP weekend for a nice sizable profit, which is lovely. Uh, 12k green dehydes, they add up quite a lot as well to 13 mil. And then we start getting into some of the worst loot here, like uh, Torstal Seeds. I got 131k in Torstal Seeds over 400 kills, that is, uh, yeah, not, pr not particularly good. 4.8 mil in actual torsos so though, which is a pretty decent amount of value. And then I got a couple of random sort of uh, junky like rare drop table sort of things here. The ones that all baited me through the week. A couple of keys, uh, some huge plate salvage and some teak planks. And obviously my stone spirits and stuff to finish it off. But yeah, over 900 mil made in 400 kills. That is, um, yeah, that's pretty substantial. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sell this all off now and then I'll... Um, Break it all down for you guys in the breakdown slide. So we now get on to the breakdown. And you can see through the course of the week, obviously, I managed 400 kills. I rounded it up to that exactly. 
Uh, it took me 26 hours in total. Um, I was 13 kills short and it took me 45 minutes to get that up and I did 25 hours, 15 minutes in the loop from week. So uh, yeah, 26 hours total, which brings me to an average of 15.3 kills an hour on next, which is pretty good. I'd say that's a decent average. Uh, my total loot is 901.52 mil. Yeah, that's a huge amount, isn't it? That means over the course of those 26 hours, I got in raw loot an average of 34.67 mil per hour, which is a pretty sizable amount. Obviously, that's very heavily weighted to the rare drops. So the hours I got them, I got a lot more. And the hours I didn't get a rare, I got a lot less, but it averaged out to that. My loot per kill also averages out really, really nicely. Uh, 2.25 mil per kill. So that's obviously, you know, the rares and all the common loot adds up as well, which brings that to a really nice value. So yeah, over 400 kills and 2.2 mil average per kill, which is really awesome. Uh, I've revised my costs slightly. So I did the costs in my next week and I took a rough guess at it being 3 mil. But I've actually looked into it a little bit more and it's probably closer to 4.5 mil when you include like making the instance, uh, charge cost. Uh, the cost of a Nihil, that sort of thing, um, and either like a Scrimshaw or things like that. It's definitely closer to the four and a half mil, so I've deducted a bit more from my costs here for the profit. Um, so it's now, it's still over 30 mil per hour, but um, it's not quite as good as it was, but it's still very, very good. Uh, so my profit per hour averaged out over the week at 30.17 mil an hour with four and a half mil costs deducted, which is, it's a pretty good profit to be honest. Like, considering how easy Next was now, I was very surprised towards the end of the week how easy and how well I got it down. Um, yeah, that's a very, very sizable profit. It's definitely something I'm going to keep doing for money in the future. It's really enjoyable as well, and uh, I'm also pretty close on the log. So uh, we're going to the next comparison screen. So we're going to jump into the first comparison now, and that is to compare it to my loot from 10 hours that I did back in 2019 of Next. So um, you're going to have to bear with that this one in 2019 was when I was first learning solo Next. So a lot of this is personal progression as well as power creep. So obviously, you know, greater ricochet and things exist now that didn't then. Um, but also back in 2019, I was doing this like with a Nox bow and a pack yak to solo it. Um, so obviously my kill times have improved a lot just through personal ability. In fact, they've nearly doubled 15.3 uh, an hour rather than 7.7 .7 an hour, which is where a lot of the extra profit comes in. Um, up to, obviously, 30 mil an hour now is more than double the 12.1 mil an hour that I averaged back then. Um, but I would like to say that some of that probably also comes from the fact that my loot per kill was slightly lower then. It was 2.2 mil now and it was 2.1 mil then. So... I've slightly increased my loot per kill, which over the course of, you know, a few hundred kills and however many hours probably adds up to that little bit of extra. That could be because of inflation or I could have just got luckier with the drops I got. Although from what I remember in that 10 hours, the loot from 10 hours video I did, I got pretty lucky anyway. So, um, yeah, but 30 mil an hour in 2021 is definitely very, very good GP per hour from next. So now we go on to the second part of the comparison and that's comparing it to all the other bosses that I've done a loot from video from. Obviously over this period of time and the amount of bosses that I've done here since like 2019, um, prices may have changed and obviously I was lucky on some and I was unlucky on others, that's just the way RNG works unfortunately. Um, I can't have exactly average luck on all of them, but this is what I got in those periods of time. Obviously ED3 and ED2, I didn't get a Codex in ED2 and I didn't get an Eldritch piece in ED3, so um, the, the GP prior is just not there without it really. Uh, same with Gradar, I don't think I got particularly unlucky, it's just not very worth anything there there's not there's not enough value there that one is just not a good boss to kill for money and then the ones where i did get lucky i got very lucky at hellwear when i did that that was a uh, one of my first ones i did back in 2019 that's probably even more gp per hour now uh, i got pretty lucky at araxor and i also got pretty lucky at magister i think i completed the kopesh in like 400 keys or something at magister which was pretty good and then like krill uh kriara greg and all that i've sort of averaged somewhere in the middle with my kind of luck um, but as you can see, the next goes in there very, very well at 30 mil per hour. So that is my highest GP per hour rate that I've achieved on any of these bosses to date. Um, my old next one was 12.1 mil an hour, which was still on its own. Like that was pretty good and pretty competitive now. Um, it would be interesting to see how much more money per hour I can get at some of these bosses now. Like uh, next there, like literally doubled due to my kill speed increasing. So uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy the video, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button uh, so you can be notified of all my future content. And if you'd like to, there's a link in the description to Twitch and Discord. And if you'd really like to support the channel directly, there's also a link in the description to channel memberships. And you can take out a channel membership which will support the channel and me directly. And you get some cool emotes uh, like chat badges and some other little perks alongside it. And they're definitely worth checking out. Anyway guys, until next time, see ya.